In this video, we'll take a look at how to navigate to a website in Cyprus. This is Marco Cruz and you're watching Automate Now. Let's dive in. All right, so I already have my Cypress project opened up in VS Code. We're going to go ahead and take a look at this integration folder. This is the place where we're going to store our tests. These two folders here contain tests that are added by default. I'm going to create a new folder here to add my own test. So I'm going to right click this integration folder and say new folder. Here I'm going to say zero dash automate now. And you can name this whatever you want. Notice that this folder is empty right now. There are no tests inside of it. We're going to go ahead and add our first test. Let's right click this folder and say new file. I'm going to call this folder navigation. And by convention, we use dot spec because this will be a spec file. And the file extension will always be .js. So we're going to say .js here and press enter. And this is where we're going to write the test. So before I write my first test, I want to go ahead and add IntelliSense. And by doing this, it's going to be a lot easier to write our test. So let me go ahead and open this folder right here and go to this spec file. And from here, I'm going to borrow this line right here. And this is the line that we use to add IntelliSense. So let me copy this and go back to my file. Now let's go ahead and paste that here. In Cypress, we first need to create a test suite. We use this test suite to store our tests inside of it. And to create a test suite, we use the describe function from Mocha. So we say describe, and notice that we're getting the IntelliSense here. And this is the describe function that we want. Notice that this comes from Mocha. And this is a suite function. So let me select this. Then we're going to add a parentheses, and we're going to give this a title. I'm just going to name this suite browser nav. Then comma. And here we need to add an anonymous callback function. And for that, we use an open and close parentheses and nothing will go inside this parentheses. Then we add equal and the greater than symbol. Now we're going to add an open embrace. And this is where we're going to create our test. And to create a test, we use the it function. This function also comes from Mocha. So we'll say it, and this is it right here. Notice that this is a test function. We're also going to add a title here. I'm just going to say navigates to homepage. This also takes a callback function. And then we need an open embrace to add the body of our test. And to visit a website in Cyprus, we say cy.visit. If you're coming from Selenium, this is equivalent to saying driver.get. And here we're going to say open parentheses. And the website that I want to visit is the sandbox page at automatenow.io. That is this page right here. So let me go ahead and copy this URL and go back to my test. Now I can enter that here. Next, I want to make an assertion to make sure that the title of the page matches what I expect. And to grab the page title, we say cy.title. Then open and close parentheses. And then we say dot should, then open parentheses. And here I can write my assertion. I want to make sure that the title matches a given text. Let's go to the website to take a look at the title of this page. If I look here under the head tag, we see that the title of this page is this one right here. So I'm just going to make an assertion to check that this title has a given text. For example, I can use automation testing right here. So let me go back to the test. And here we're going to write the assertion. Here we're going to use single quotes. We're going to say contain, then comma. And in quotes, we're going to put the text that we want to find. I'm just going to say automation testing. Now our test is complete. This test is going to navigate to the sandbox page, and then it's going to check that the title has this text in it. I already have the test runner open, so let me bring that up. And here we can see that we have the new folder that we added, automate now. And we also have the spec file that we added. If I want to run this test, I can simply click on it. But first, I need to save my changes from VS Code. So let me go back to VS Code, and I'm just going to press Control S to save my changes. Now let me go back to the test runner, and now I'm going to click on this file to run the test. And we see that the test ran successfully. We have one passing test right here. And we can see the assertion right here. It says we expected this text right here to include automation testing. And obviously this text is contained in this right here. And notice how easy it was to create a test in Cypress. All we needed to add was a couple of lines to get a successful test. If for some reason you didn't understand some of the things that I talked about in this video, please check out the video on the screen. In this video, I explained the Cypress folder structure. 
It shows you what all of these folders and files mean. And as always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video.